Hello and welcome to the Pure and Clean Weekly Review. This is a segment produced by Pure and Clean to summarize all Star Citizen news that relates to business in the verse. If you like it or have feedback, drop us a note in the comment section of our YouTube channel. And with that, here is what you need to know for the week of June 5th, 2017. On this week's Around the Verse, we saw a sneak peek at the Universal Inventory User Interface that is being developed for Star Citizen 3.0. This is the MobiGlass UI that you will be using to manage your inventory and initiating transfer of items and cargo between hangars around the universe. The Universal Inventory UI is divided into three major sections. On the top left, you have your inventory, which you can toggle between overview and transfer modes. In transfer mode, you can group and sort alphabetically or use filters or a search bar to find your items. It displays the item, how much of it you have in your possession, where it is located, and it has little arrows that allow you to select how many of them you wish to transfer. On the top right is the transfer location section. Here you can easily view all of your hangers and their available storage space and you can select which hangers to transfer your inventory to by selecting items and then hitting the transfer items button. Lastly, at the bottom section, this is reserved for mo other MobiGlass features. On the left, you have your MobiGlass network features that you can exit to, for example, the mission manager, and on the right, you have a recent notification section. It is worth noting that all of this is subject to change, but it's looking like it's coming on along nicely. Nick Elms, creative director at Foundry42, showcased a plethora of information that will impact the Star Citizen economy. Progress has been made on the implementation of the Mission Broker and Mission Manager UI that will go live with Star Citizen 3.0. These determine how a mission is given to a player and keeps track of their progress in that mission. Progress has also been made with the truck stop stations and the surface outposts. Mr. Elms showed images of an illegal drug lab, manufacturer branding inside the outposts, as well as the attention to detail to avoid these places from looking repetitive. The Subscribers Town Hall featured two members of the Foundry42 UK props team, Corey Banford and Ben Curtis. The props team works on all of the assets used in the game that are movable, portable, or interactable in some way, but are not things like ships, walls, environment, and so on. For example, props may include things like power plants, quantum drives, avionics, shield generators, jump stabilizers, chairs, and so on. As props get damaged or suffer from wear and tear, they provide economic opportunities for other players. For example, a boarding party might shoot out lights that need to be replaced, or a shield generator that is several years old may not work as well as a brand new one or one that is manufactured out of higher quality components. These are all examples of economic opportunities for the players. Finally, Spectrum Alpha got a version update to 0.3.5. Updates include new view modes, reading and replying indicators, and updates to bookmarks, tags, and search. You can find further reading on this news and more by subscribing to the Pure and Clean channels in the notes section. Or if you'd like to join us in Star Citizen, you can check us out on our website at pureandclean.com. Until next time, this has been the Pure and Clean Weekly Review. Thanks for subscribing from the team at Pure and Clean.